So different rules in the lower levels. <laughs> Zappy. No chance. Challenge. Yo, thank you so much Family for the sub. Accepted. Three months. Really appreciate it, Rice. Thank you. Are you in the middle of a big fight, Christos, and about to lose your ticket? I mean, lose your boat time? And I don't have any tickets that I bought with gold either. All right, we've got 15 minutes till we're starting. So let me just uh, real quick, first place and second place will get a prize. You don't have long. If you want to jump in, jump in quick. Um, second place is going to get three bond lures that are typically hard to find right now based on stock. And first place is going to get the Sensi, Poseidon Sensi uh, rod here, the WTA 88-50190. Yeah, it did it. So go ahead and join. We're starting any second now. If you want to jump in, jump in quick. But we're about to start the comp. Oh, thank you. It's good to be back. Yeah, and I should have some more time coming up in the summer. Um, like starting in, in May, basically. All right, everybody readied up? Go ahead and ready up, John B, John B so I don't have to kick you. So we can jump, so we can get going. Please ready up, ready up, and we're going. Good luck, everyone. Again, this is for Saith, Cusk, Atlantic Cod, maximum weight of three comps. Sorry, maximum weight of three fish. Competition has begun. <laughs> gotcha, Botsy. All right. So let's head back down, or at least between here and there. So we're going to go to the top part of C9, I think. So southwest. A little further west than that. Uh, Seb, thanks for the follow. Good luck to everyone in the comp. How much did we end up? 36 participants. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. Let's turn our light off and let's see about... I actually want to go back to the 2.0... Let's start off with hopefully a good bite rate with the foam rubber fish. And yeah, we'll, we'll start off casting this way actually. We're not gonna be casting far. Just right in front of us to the north. You watch videos all the time. Oh, thanks for the support, Seb, I, I appreciate it. Glad you were able to make the stream. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get something going here. <laughs> Baby shark. Oh, uh, let's don't get that stuck in our head. All right, fast bite rate. You knew it was coming with this foam rubber fish. We'll catch a lot of small stuff though. Couldn't watch for several months. Oh, you snapped the leader. Hey, there's a European hake. I've only caught one or two of these before this one. That's a pretty rare fish for me to see. You've got mackerel and haddock so far. Interesting. I hate to hear that, Christos. Oh, that stinks. 
Level 24 is silver. Over 24 is gold. Boat ticket to send another. Gotcha. Thank you, Gaming Win. Sounds good, Rise. Thanks again for the uh, for the sub. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. I wish I was able to uh, stream more often year round, but there will be times during the year, like over the summer, for example, when we should be able to do a lot more. Especially now that we have some fresh content in the game. Yeah, sharks are not that rare. You've gotten three so far. Well, if you count the small species of shark, I've had several. I have not had any large shark yet, though. Oof, that sounds like a juicy one. 220 meters of line. Wow. So have you unlocked the, um, yeah, you can tell us what hole if you want. Have you unlocked the uh, ability to use the fillets? Have a, have a feeling that's going to increase our ability to target larger fish once we get that fillet rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have the fillet yet. I don't have the fillet yet. I mean, you can tell us just in terms of curiosity on where that is, but hey, there's a safe that will turn into bait. Uh, somebody just called a really nice cod, right? Ooh, burpee. Burpee. Try the yellow foam. Okay, I will. 75 meter hole is good for big fish. Oh, interesting. Okay, 75 meter. That's cool. Seventy nine kilo Atlantic halibut. Wow. You must have some pretty uh some pretty nice gear there. I don't know, Christos. A 50 kilo Greenland shark was only worth 22 silver. Okay, that's a little disappointing. Oh, 220. Okay. I was, um, I was going to say, <laughs> that's, that's, that's weird. There's a tiny cusk. Why is the CPU speed so much higher on the new map? I assume that it's just got a lot more going on requiring that. I, I don't know. I'm not a tech person for sure. Your 47 kilo Greenland was 145. Fifty-five meter hole is best. You can get everything there. Yeah, that's where I did the best. So in the last stream, using uh, lures, I felt like I had my best results on that fifty-five meter. Your computer is cooking. All right, we're trying the yellow. So Burpee's still in the lead. Hey, I like getting these uh, fillets from all the safe we're catching. Wait, somebody called a trophy safe in the comp? Burpee, did you? Or was it potato? Well, I don't, I don't even know what... Oh, no, Sunja. I don't even know what size trophy is.
19 is trophy. Okay. So that would be Sanjo, right? Yeah, some big safe are coming in. Big safe. Eh, it's a little place. All right, let's just see what happens if we go to Pilker. Um, we'll throw a little strip on there. You've got 4K left. I hear you, man. This uh, this place will take the silver out of you if you're buying gear and stuff. Wait, no, is that a thing, Birdie? Does that even work? I love that idea, though. Apparently, really. I mean, that's fascinating. That's actually fascinating. You made 1500 silver in two hours. So what were you fishing with on your bottom, on your uh, bottom rods, Mr. Perfect? The new baits? Filet setup. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really cool. You just got out on the water. Nice. Point eight four silver left. <laughs> All right, you need to get some fish. Yeah, I hear you, Burpee. Ooh, more bait. That is awesome. Any news? What do you mean, Grim? News of what? Best way is to do bottom fishing. Yeah, you're killing it, Burpee. Oh, I haven't heard about that. So what does that mean it was a shark, Grim? You'll tell me a lot in about 45 minutes. I like it. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. You know what? Let's um, let's see what this does.
Mind Games, how's it going? Filet rig during prime hours and smaller jigs during midday slow period for bait replenish is working good for you. That sounds awesome. Um, sounds like a good, uh, are you talking about from shore or is that what you're doing from the boat? Will you do one more comp after? I don't know. We'll see. The only big prize I have is the one for this comp. I do have a couple more lures we could give away. We'll see how it's going though from boat. That's cool. What's up, Phil? Long time no see. Hope you're doing well, Phil. Uh, top prize is a is a, a rod, the Sensi rod. I'll show it in a minute. And second place gets three mostly out of stock lures. 55, 41, and 80. Oh, down here. Interesting. Oh, we are, we're drifting now, aren't we? Okay. You were asleep. Oh, sorry. You missed it, Grim. I, I probably would make good shark bait. Wow, you're at 63% skill. So that means you have already purchased three setups that you can use the fillet fish on, huh? The fillet setups. And you're just sitting from shore, killing it with fillets. Wow. Dormanite, it has been a while. Welcome back. Yeah, I agree, Phil. It's been a lot of fun. Although I, I don't have that many hours in yet, but what I have played has been fun. Ooh, it's another hake. A few months ago, you watched a lot of my videos on YouTube. Oh, thanks, Grim. Thanks for the support. No book? Yeah, no book for me either. You're at 66%, Addy, that's crazy. Oh, you're doing repairs, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Strat, thanks for the follow. PH3D, thanks for the follow. And SEB, thanks for the follow. Three in-game days left till your repairs are done. I just watch a big movie, I guess, or watch a really good movie and be ready to go, huh? Wait, what do you mean boat rods doesn't work? What's wrong with the boat rods? Yeah, three fillet rigs on shore means three pilker rods. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hey, thanks so much, Strat. Greetings to greetings to Poland. There's a bug with the light ones. Uh, trolling with them where at Archie boat rod is no boat rods like 50 something isn't it uh, for the light one I guess but what does the boat rod allow you to do 
that the pilking rod or whatever this is doesn't allow you light boat rods bend so much you can't land fish uh oh marine bottom that's right okay so marine bottom is the the rig type that you can do on those it's a bear noodle so we can't even select marine bottom on this huh wait It looks like we can select it on this. Oh, it allows you to use heavier lures. Okay, got you. The third boat rod in the shop is bugged. The other's okay. Okay. Oh, it stays locked. Okay. It's a lie. It's a lie. The two to the left work just fine. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Burpees in first with some really nice fish uh e h h h h h is in second and potato in third y'all are doing great all right let's go over here I tried that with 55% and the rig is still locked. Okay, good. Yeah, I just didn't know. I did not know. But I'm only like 10% or something. If that. I'm at 13.5, never mind. Still, I'm not very far. All right, so we've... Uh, Still got plenty of time left in the comp. Actually, I don't want to do that. What do I want to do here? Probably just that. Herring fillets are definitely pay to win. Is that right, Phil? People are catching some nice stuff on the herring fillets. And is that something you can't craft? Is that why you're saying it that way? Safe fillet is the best. Thankfully, we can make safe fillets, right? All right, so y'all are confirming that herring fillets you cannot craft. It's just mackerel and safe, correct? That's a nice little cusk. I think that was bigger than the last one I caught. I am only in 14th place. Can I show map? Sure. I'll switch in a minute back to jig, uh, the jig, jig rig, just to keep mixing it up. Tiny fish, yeah. That's what I was using this earlier. Uh, Monkey, thanks for the follow.
Uh, I really hope that doesn't happen, at least not to many people, because with since we have a prize for first and second place, that would not be cool. Hey, I don't think I'd ever caught a whiting before. I think this is my first whiting, actually. Oh, wait, let's go ahead and switch. So marine lure jigging. We're going to go 2 0 and we're gonna go back to the uh, tiny fish. 7006, yeah, that's what I was using earlier. No clips, how's it going? You got kicked as well? Oh, I hope this isn't happening to a lot of people in the comp right now. Sorry about that, Steelhead. Are you still in the comp when you get back in? You know, the, the first day when we did a comp, I got kicked out of the my out of the comp, and then but people in the comp could still see me in there. And then I didn't get a notification that the comp was over till the next day. It was so weird. Is there marine oil for reels? Uh, I actually don't know. STAB bearings, extra solid oil. So what was, uh, Joe was telling us the other day, yesterday, no, two days ago, that if you put the right ball bearings and grease on your stuff, it doesn't fully convert it to salt, to, to salt water equipment, but it does make it more resilient to damage than it would be without it. So it's kind of like a middle ground. If you put the right ball bearings or grease on something that is not salt resistant, then it just helps. It doesn't fully convert it, if that makes sense. Jan Tori saying, Mech wears fast, faster than stock bearings. I don't know. I haven't tested any of it. I'm just saying what Joe told us. It's funny, the wind. If you have a fairly light fish, <laughs> you bring that sucker up, the wind just takes over. The caliber, you can almost hear it rust away. <laughs> yeah, we had that earlier, Grim. We had, I didn't, we, did we have 29 chat? We had a lightning storm. It was incredible. Steelness tolerate much better. You've got 10.6 mechs and 0.1 break on your Goliath. Tasmania, that's so cool, Phil. Really? Your Cardinal's getting crushed, huh? Have you done a lot of fishing, though? Someone just got a 70 kilo cod? Like, in the comp, you mean? Or just in general?
So we still have the top three or the same. Oh no, Potato wasn't there. Sunja's up to second, I mean up to third. In general, gotcha. That's interesting. Even the smaller fish are, huh? Kilted Jack. Yeah. Oh, I would love that. I would love that. And, and in, as long as Joe stays in that same position, I think he would be up for it. Um, like I said, in the, interview and and afterwards he's just been uh it's been such a game changer having him available to communicate with Ooh, if that's a uh yeah place that's good that's good all right we are we're still in the right place here but Oh, Zach. Zach moves into second place. Good job, everybody. You know, Captain Slovenia, I, I would love to do that when I have time. I could see that being something I definitely would enjoy doing. I also think if you're really trying to be efficient, then it makes sense to wait until just the community has a time to test a lot of different things out. Um, so you can make best use of that time. Although that may be less important than I initially thought, because I've heard from multiple people that they've done the trial and they've been able to not only break even on C on the silver, but in some cases make quite a bit of silver even with the knowledge that's already out there in that five hour period. So I get why they didn't do it, but I wish they had allowed anyone to do that trip, especially people that are like in the mid thirties, mid to high thirties. I think there are people that just maybe didn't happen to have much silver when the map came out and that would give them a more realistic opportunity to go try out the new stuff, maybe make some silver. And, um, so I don't know how they came up with level 34, but I think it might've been nice if it was a little higher than that. Is that right? Noel? see, I'm definitely not to that point. Um, I, although, I, ha I have been making decisions that I knew weren't going to always make the most silver, but just kind of trying different things. I mean, so far, what has made me the most silver in a short amount of time was probably what we did from the shore. Although there was that one sort of like hour that we were at, at the, um, there's a haddock. We were at the 34 and using a couple of different lures. I did pretty well during that. I don't know. Overall, I've not been doing that well silver wise though. Yeah, I agree. Kilt to jock. I love that. I love that idea. Um, I do have discord just exclamation point discord. will show it to you. And if you want to, uh, a, a lot of people do post spots and, and things in there. So if you want to join, you're welcome to. I mean, there's so many Discord, so many different streamers have Discords. You've got the RF4 Discord. Yeah, it's whatever, but it, it is an active Discord. That's actually really cool, Captain Slovenia. That's a cool idea. So you'd have to... 
you'd have to level and save silver long enough to at least be able to afford the trip, right? But could you, man, that's interesting. Could you basically level through the game by taking a series of five day trips to the new map? That is so interesting. It's a great idea. Your 5 million XP from 34. Yeah, yeah. See, you're at that spot where... Now, thankfully, you are at a point where you still can do the trip if you want, but any higher and you wouldn't have been able to, and yet you still, you know, being that level, you've probably not grinded enough to have a ton of silver. It's so cheap in gold that it's worth it to buy in gold. Sorry, Jantori, I'm still seeing, I'm just seeing that. What are you talking about? The, um, the trip? Oh my goodness. How much? Yeah, let's see. What's that conversion? That actually is a very inexpensive gold amount for five hours. I mean, I don't know. But, but kind of what you're saying, then you're not having to save up that much silver. If you're willing to spend a couple dollars on the game or whatever that would be. That's an interesting idea. Uh, Kilted Jock says, overall, this is much better than I thought. This map and planned over the other day. Uh, great sonar, effective method to target zones, clear skill progression, and exciting species. Yeah, I, I totally agree with everything you just said. 18 kilo reel and Poseidon Sensei. I make 500 an hour. Okay. Um, D9, Maggot Plastics, and the Jax 150 have been killing it for me. D9, so one thing over, the Maggots and the Jax 150. That's interesting. That is really interesting. All right, Burpee, Zach, Christo up into third, eh, still fourth, and Birdie now in fifth. So I just unlocked filet rigs. Where did you say they are good? So, I mean, what I've seen on VK is down in this 41 meter hole where I am right now, people have been using them here. Uh, people in chat earlier were saying that fishing from shore with them has been good. 34, I mean, I think just the same spots that's been good with, you know, any of the spots probably, but it's about $2 a trip. Okay, thank y'all. And that's 80 silver worth of gold. Goodness, that's almost a no-brainer, isn't it? That's a really uh, interesting thing. Man, I really want to test that. Leveling guide, skipping straight to Nor to, to, Nor to the Norwegian Sea. If you're willing to spend about $2 a trip. Huh, I'm so fascinated by that. That's so interesting. You need a cusk. I wish I could send you one of mine. Uh, totally. $2 for five hours of entertainment? I mean, if you're no-lifing it, yes, that still would add up. But, I mean, if you look at other entertainment per hour costs or per five hour costs, that's competitive for sure. Yeah, and I think once you got going, once you got a good system going, you could stop paying the gold, right? At some point, that much silver wouldn't be that expensive. And 
as long as you were, you know, had kind of learned how to do whatever you're more efficient, then you're probably able to make a make silver even after spending that much silver, right? Although how many trips do y'all think until you hit level 34? That's the other question. Some of these fish are worth a good bit of experience. On average, how many trips would it take to hit level 34? That's an interesting thing. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, however many trips it is, multiply that times $2 and then think about like, okay, you're hitting level th level 34. You've got thousands of silver at that point. I don't know. It's kind of a cool way to play the game. We've got just over eight hours left in the comp. Yes, it's a one-time only deal. Oh, I did not know that it was one-time only. I mean, I don't think it is. Has anybody done it twice? Is anybody low enough level to have done the trip and has done it more than once? That's a great, great point, though. You can go there multiple times. Are you saying you've taken seven trips and you've gotten 3.5 million XP? From levels 33 to 34, I made 14,000 silver. Holy cow. Wait, so... Ferret, if you're talking about the trip, you wouldn't be using, you wouldn't use any of your current gear. They actually give you the gear you need. If that makes sense. Seven trips, same price. You can get the trip more than once. I've done it four times. You can buy as much as you want. Yes, some people are on chat do it multiple times. I got a quarter of a level in five hours at level 26. So I don't think it's a very w good way of gaining XP. A quarter of a level in five hours at level 26. I mean, how much XP are you getting elsewhere at level 26? I mean, it may not be a super fast way to level. I don't know, actually, I'm not sure. I mean, at level 26, that's getting pretty grindy in general at that by that level, right? Isn't that about the time when you start to notice that you're slowing down? But it's got to be a fast way to earn silver, especially if you're willing to do the $2 per trip thing. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's you're right, Phil. This is clearly not a free to play way to approach this game, which thankfully you still do have the free to play way to approach it. But if you're willing to throw a few bucks their way, I guess that's a interesting thing. I mean, I think especially if someone has a little bit of room in their budget for entertainment and they're just really interested in the sea fishing aspect, I think it's kind of cool personally. You're at 58.2% marine fishing just with trips. That's amazing. So we're getting the perking, but I think I reeled a little too much. We're not in the bottom. Let's go back down a little bit. Oh, yep. Yeah. S. Murden says the C map is 100% XP, 100% best XP for lower levels. Nine point five dollars is five gold. 
Oh, that's true. Gold prices are also... Are they standardized? Some regions, they're different, right? At level 34, you can't buy the tickets anymore. Farming salmon is much better at XP. But they can't say it's not pay to win anymore. Wait, when is it? When has it ever not had pay to win in terms of being able to purchase better equipment with real money? You know what I mean, Phil? Are you seeing this as different? Hold on, let me think about this. Actually being able to pay to go to a higher level map versus paying for better gear but you still have to be a certain level to use that gear. I mean, I can see how you might see that different. I, I get it. If you can make the money back, then you can just farm levels. Yeah, yeah, well, yes, but I don't see that part of it as that different, right? I mean, we're always, if, if you're, if you're worrying about efficiency and paying attention to the community, you're always making money back. It's not like, I don't think many people have the experience of buying new stuff, starting to fish, and then losing money. Do you know what I mean? It's just like the difference is you're going to a higher level map to do that. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying in some ways that's, no different than for that aspect aspect no different does that make sense what i'm saying i don't know if it does or not i guess i wasn't at the bottom yet it's cheaper on steam i didn't think that was the case but i don't know Yes, that's true. That change has been in the game for a while now where you can purchase a higher level map from any level, right? I'll pay to give you more. Yeah, well, for some people, that's a fair trade, right? They don't have the time. And if you do have the time to grind away, I can see why that might frustrate you that someone that doesn't have the time can open up their wallet and in some ways, but it's not like in every way. I don't know. <clears throat> That's true, Kilted. There's no wear on your gear. That's a good point. You're you're using their you're using rented gear. One gold on standalone is two euro euros, and on Steam it's one and a half euros. I don't know if that's true for me that Steam is cheaper. But I guess I haven't looked in a while. But if you buy pass, you don't get the gear. Yeah, you're just renting it, right? It's like a RuneScape premium thing where you can pay real money a couple times. Oh, it's one of those little micro, micro sharks, by the way. <clears throat> All right, let's go over to this side. So where are we in the comp? We've got five hours left. Christos has moved into first place. Sunja second, Burpee third, Zach fourth, eh, fifth. Y'all are catching some nice fish. I'm not catching, I mean, I'm catching fish. We're making some money, but at least using what I'm using, I haven't seen the big boys coming in. Steam is cheaper. Okay, I didn't realize that. They're just penalizing higher level players. See how much repairs you can get in gold for the price of the tour tour ticket. Even standalone other region is more expensive than standalone Germany region. I knew there was a difference in like regions per cost. Like isn't the uh, Russian region the cheapest, which is why back in the day 
there was this thing where people would create Russian accounts, buy stuff for real money at a much cheaper rate, and then request to transfer the account to their home region. Uh, and then that got shut down. You can still use your own lures on the trip. So you're not locked into using the gear they give you. You can use the gear they give you, but you're not locked into it. Is that what you're saying? It depends on the region. Steam could be pricier. I did not know it was this complicated. In Germany, Steam and Standalone is the same. Okay. That's why we cannot gift premium or gold between regions on Standalone. That makes sense. Yeah, Rick, that's a good point. Um, sometimes the terminology needs to be used carefully when when talking about a free to play game versus a premium game or a game that you have to buy i think that's a fair point you get some pilker sets but you can use anything on the trip that's cool <laughs> based on stock being uh, le less than 34 and taking the trip may be the only way to get access to certain lures right now. I have a hard time calling anything pay to win when there's no PVP. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting point as well. You're paying for convenience or paying for uh, bypassing. That's a good way of maybe labeling it. Uh, I agree, Kilted Jock. That is a nice cusk. I will take that cusk all day long. Did that at least move us above 14? Oh no, we've just fallen farther. We're in 22nd now. <laughs> What do I not have, by the way? Oh, I haven't caught an Atlantic cod. So we were catching these cods on the um, on a different lure, right? No, tiny fish. Okay, tiny fish. That's what I'm back to using. So there should be a chance at least. If you love it, invest. Paying to bypass the free to play. Yes. Uh, I'm not either, Null. I'm really not either at the end of the day. Question of money spent per hours played. The nice thing about it being a free to play game is that there are some people who literally just don't have the resources and they can still enjoy this game, albeit at a much slower pace. Are there some disadvantages? Yes, but they can still play it, right? And for the majority of people, that do have some amount of resources available to them for entertainment, then they can support the game. And of course, there's going to be some benefits for supporting the game, right?
I like it, Bomar. Rewarding with your wallet for, for a job well done. That's cool. Cool way of looking at it. You're waiting for unlimited boat usage. That sounds like that would be expensive if that was introduced. Um, so is it possible that one reason you don't want people too high a level of having the option of doing the five day trip is that that might have lowered their motivation to actually come out here and spend silver on getting the new equipment and everything. So they're like a little less invested. I mean, I could kind of see that being the case. Uh, Randy play. Thanks for the follow, by the way, monkey. Thanks for the follow. If I missed it strat, you too. I think I did catch that one. Pay for the fuel. Hey, Burpee, grats on the trophy. What trophy did you catch? I'll look up in a minute. Yes, that's exactly right. People who are willing to pay, support the game with real money, continue to allow folks who can't afford it to be able to play it. That's a good way of looking at it as well. Pistol Knight, thanks for the follow. another decent little cusk all right so you want that vinga i have yes burpee hold on what was it oh a trophy cusk i'm guessing is that what burpee had oh nice back into first place it's getting tight up there burpee christoph sunja zach and z m a j all right, I got to take quick, quick bio break. We're down to the last hour and a half. So let me go get, get, get a quick bio break and I'll be right back for the end of the comp. You have two hot spots, one for squid and the other for black rough. Ooh, I would love to know about that, Kilted. <laughs> Jack, bro, how's it going?
Gonzo. All right, let me take notes. Tilted speaks, I take notes. Squid is 103. Whole I5. Black rough. Semi deep channel in I7. Any particular bait you're wanting to use there or just Look on the weeklies and Are squid active at night as well? Boogeyman, holy cow, out of nowhere? Second place? Burpee back to first? Hey, GG everybody. That was a lot of fun. Some really good fish caught during that comp. Even some trophies. And congrats to Burpee and Boogeyman. All right, let's see here. So Burpee9, who is level 32, is getting rod and Bogeyman72, who is level 44, is getting lures. Grats to everybody. All right, let me let me uh, hopefully catch a fish here. And uh, then I'm going to send that stuff out. Squid-like mackerel, small fillets. Okay. Jigmeister 110? Oh yeah, Burpee. I'll take your strats. And I'll send you a rod. So nice that we're not wearing camos. Cusk equals a Tunguska Arctic Char. Tiny Fish 7006. And then large mackerel fillet rig on 6 0 hook and got trophy first cast. Wow. All right, so 7006, that's what I'm using, right? All right, and you had the 2 hook, I'm guessing. This is a decent fish here. If 
by the way. Hey, if you want to make it easy on me, send me a quick message, both uh, Burpee and Bogeyman. If not, I'll look it up. No worries, but. Oh, 6 -o hook. Okay. What is it? Anyone notice we do not have a fish of the week? Is that what that is? Fish of the week? I had not noticed that. I was like, it's going through a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities in my head there. Forbidden strats don't have them unlocked. Yeah, that's right. Well, we can at least do. We can at least do this. Oh, no. Notice that that was on a right click. Full right click and the fish jumped off. Still happens. All right, here's Burpee. All right, you get the Cincy. Cincy incoming burpee. Man, let me just make sure I've got the right name here. All right. Burpee 9 Cincy. All right, grats to Burpee. Thank you very much both of you for sending me the uh, messages. And you're getting the bond 75, 7, and 10.